farming and diet in ancient Sumer. The first Sumerians were farmers. They grew crops and reared cattle. Over time, they became so successful that they had lots of extra food that they could store for the winter or in case of famine. This meant that they could settle in one place and build cities. Now, not everyone needed to be a farmer. Some people became builders, craftspeople, priests or scribes. Around 90% of the population lived in cities. Farmers planted crops such as barley, emmer, a kind of wheat, chickpeas and lentils. They also grew onions, garlic, lettuce, leeks, mustard and dates. Sumerians hunted and ate fish, gazelle and wildfowl. Domesticated sheep and goats provided wool, milk and meat, while oxen and donkeys were kept to pull heavy farming equipment and to carry goods. Some of these animals are depicted on the standard of Ur, a huge mosaic slab decorated on one side with scenes of war and the other side with scenes of peace. Since Sumer was located between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, water was plentiful, but so were floods. The land was irrigated using a shaduf. Canals and channels were created to transport water, while dikes, flood banks, and weirs prevented flooding by controlling the speed and direction of water flow. Vast amounts of water were stored in reservoirs, lakes with natural or man-made dams. Every spring, the rivers flooded their banks. The silt from the rivers fertilized the soil. Once the water had been drained, farmers used oxen to trample the ground and kill any weeds, before dragging pickaxes along the ground to break up the soil. When the soil was dry enough, farmers and their slaves plowed the fields and planted seeds. At harvest time, teams of three people, a reaper, a binder, and a sheaf arranger would harvest the grain.